Hello fellow survivors, we are back here in Broken Railroad, ready to head out because it's time, it's time for the Far Territory. Now we spent some time here in this region, just, uh, well, killing a bear, killing some wolves, lots of wolves, and just exploring and just doing everything. And I've done everything except a memento cache thing, and then that's about it. Now, uh, I am now ready to go. In a perfect world, I would have liked to have this fixed because that's the only thing that's kind of low condition. I also don't have a very good bow. Like, the bows are going to break anytime soon. Could be one shot, could be three. I don't know. But I think I'm going to chance it and just create a new bow when I get there instead. Oh, the fact that we could do, I suppose we could... Maybe even to speed that up, we could maybe bring Guts to make it. So I, don't, so I can make it faster, because I probably will use it quite a lot once I get there. Let's see, is it two? Is it, um, two and one. I might actually do that, yeah. But make it after the stuff is broken. I think that's better. And then we got everything else, acorns and whatnot. I don't think we even need all this stuff. But we'll take it with for now. Uh, this we don't really need anymore, I guess, actually, because we I think I can leave that behind. This, it uses the, the knife to open things, but I don't really have that many things I need to, uh, to open anyway. And I think that's it. I think that's everything. I think we're ready for the road. Yeah, I think so. I need this many matches, but that's okay. Okay, then it's time to head to the far territory. Before we go, though, one more thing. Uh, a viewer pointed out something outside here, which I forgot about, which is when you get mauled by a bear, you very often drop an item, one, two, or three items, uh, which I did, but I didn't really pay attention to it, if I'm honest. And there should be... Something, yes, <laughs> a stim. I dropped the stim. Don't, don't think I dropped anything else. No, okay, that's fine. It's time to leave this wolf nest. It's a good time to do it. It's quite warm. You smell a little bit, but that's all right. In the far range branch line, there isn't much really uh, in terms of wolves. A couple though. And I think we are going to eat a pie to get some carrying capacity. Maybe not right now, but once I get over the limit, I'll eat it. Uh, we can actually just nosh on this. Have a drink. <clears throat> I need to make more water, actually. There's not a lot of water, but I want to leave some behind here as well. And I got one of those. Yeah, okay. The burdock tea, I don't think there's any point carrying that around, actually, but... Okay, this is a good time to go. Let's check, did I check all the devices and stuff here? Yeah. It's a good time to go because it's a decent weather. It's in the early afternoon, so it's still a while until it gets dark. It's still, and it's warmish, minus six. So it's a good time to go. So now we're going to head to the far territory. We're going to get to that radio. Uh, but first, we have to go through the far range branch line. That's a really long, long uh, transition zone. It's a couple of, a couple of wolves and stuff, but for the most part, it's just uh, a very long region with, uh, with train tracks. There's a few things to explore, a little interior part. Um, there's some pry bars to be found and some other stuff. There's quite a lot of loot actually in there. All right. But there's heavy loot. Now, this is going to be a bit of a journey if you haven't done this before. Uh, when you make this journey, you have to make sure you have enough supplies with you because it's quite long. I mean, it's the reason why it's called the Far Territory. Broken Railroad itself is kind of far to go because it's um, 
it also has this very long transition point. And then once you get here, now you have to basically do the same thing again. Grab a couple of sticks because I don't have that much food, uh, wood, I don't think. No, I have one piece of coal. But I believe we'll find some coal in... Um, I didn't actually check over here. Let me have a quick look here. Uh, we'll find some coal in the mine or like the, the caves further up. Hmm. Sometimes a corpse here. Is this map this quick? No. Okay. All right, off we go. Oh, with the broken bridge, it's no longer bro broken. So it's now partially destroyed railroads. <laughs> it's just this region. And there we are. And there's a long way back as well. We looted this already. In we go. And we're going to go through a long tunnel first. And in this tunnel, you can often find things like pry bars. So keep a little eye out. And if I find them, I will either take them with or I'll leave them somewhere. All right, here we are. Can't see, but it's a bit difficult. So I'm going to light this. There's a torch, is that a needs this anymore. pretty good torch? Here we are heavy now. No, there is a lot of, it's kind of hidden, but there are pry bars here. There's one. Keep a little lookout, because it's very easy to miss things here. Pie soonish. And this isn't scary at all. I'm sure this is not a horror game, you know. It is kind of cool though, a long, long journey to get there. I do like that. I guess it can feel like it's really remote and really far away. It's really far to get to. Yeah, there can also be some stuff. Hey, coal. Nice. Just look around here. They do like to hide stuff from us. That's just scary noise. It sound like, you know, monsters in here. Good. Don't think there's anything else here. Is there anything here? Not that I can see. Okay, let's keep going. It's a long journey ahead. Hey, matches. I guess septic don't need that. Let's check over here. Here we got a piece of coal. That's good. Now we're going into these uh, little tunnels here. Ugh, there's no noise. And there's a little office, which I don't think there is much. An interloper flare. Here you can find some stuff uh, on lower difficulties. I think the best I found here on interloper was a 
Storm Lantern, I think. Okay. Nothing. Anything here? Don't see anything, no. Okay. Like looking up, it's easy to forget the stuff up. Okay. Then we come here. You can hear the wolf is out. Now this part is not scary at all. I mean, look at that. Are you sure the Long Dark is not a horror game? I mean, look at that. That doesn't seem foreboding at all. Yeah, let's go down this way. Go. We are actually going to go that way to get down there, but um, that leads down to the river. But we're going to go here first to check out a few things. I'm actually taking this route too much. Because when I've been to the Saken Airfield, I usually just spawn there for my videos. I've only done this route like twice, I think. Keeping an open eye here, it's quite dark. I think there's a pry bar at the end of this as well. Yeah, there it is. I'm actually gonna drop some things that I don't need right here. Which is things like, well, the pry bars. You pick them up on the way back. But here. Let's map. Nice. But I'm not sure if we can map inside. Can I map inside? Let's just try it. I didn't actually think about it, but I don't think you can. Let's do a, give it a quick try here. If I go in here, for example. No, it's, it counts as indoors, yeah. Okay. Look how f scary that looks. <laughs> that looks really scary. Let me clear this up a bit. Now, up ahead there is a landfall type area. So, this rock formation in front of me is a shortcut for the way back. Instead of going through the caves and around, you can go over those rocks and you can take a shortcut. However, it is possible to take the shortcut this way too. I never actually done it though. Uh, so I'm not sure how exactly how it's done, but I can give it a quick try. All right, more pry bars. Parker. And rope, which we will attach. Alright. There you go. Now, I believe it is possible to get up here. I'm just going to give it a try. I've never done it, but I believe it is possible. I haven't seen anyone do it, but I know I've heard that you can go on the right here. And do it. Let's see if that can be done here. Mm, I think we need to go higher up. Doesn't seem particularly possible from this angle, at least. Ah, I just fall down. Let's try over here. Hmm. 
think it should be possible, but I've never looked up how to do it. I've never seen anyone do it either, but um, but I know it can be done. I think that might be a topic for another video. Figure that out. Because I'm not sure how to do it. Let's have a look at one more thing. It would make sense that it's up there and then over there. That's how I can picture doing it. But I don't really see myself getting up high enough to achieve that. Maybe it can be done, but... We'll leave that for another day. I don't fancy really grinding it out. Okay. Is that Wolfie down there? He's down there. Okay. You can climb this rope. Oh, I killed the rabbit. Oh, in that case, let's climb down. No, I'm too heavy, even with the pie. Okay. We're gonna go around then. Maybe I can go down, actually. I haven't spent much time exploring this region, this transition region, to its fullest, so... Can this be goated? This looks like it can be goated, so let's try it. Hmm. Not an easy goat, though. <laughs> yeah. Not worth it, I, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that was worth it. But it definitely can be done. Probably a lot smoother than that. Wasn't the worst, but... Okay, I already mapped some of this. Over here there was just, there's a climb to get up. Normally you'd go out that uh, door and you come out over there. I don't think there's any loot up there, but we can check that later. Okay. Then there's a wolf down here and some rabbits. And then there's a cave system with a minor loot. I'll possibly kill this wolf. We'll see. It will be interesting to see if you can survive in this transition region, which I think you can. So you got sticks, you got some plants, you got rabbits and wolves. I'm not sure if there's deer. There is deer in the hub though. Which is the next transition region. So the way this works, if you haven't seen this before. Oh, there you are. I'm going to let him enjoy that meal. So I don't need the rabbit right now. He killed both rabbits. <laughs> Seems like it. Nothing to harvest. Still picked it up though. Now, I wouldn't mind mapping this out. I'm gonna do that quick. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't actually map the entrance, which is weird. In we go. Sure I can carry much more. Okay, we're in uh, the cave system. Plate layers shortcut. Presumably the plate layers as in the railroad track layers. Let's have a look around. I think we can find some coal in here. Which we definitely need. I 
get a backpack. So this connects to the other side of this transition region. And then when you come out there, you still have to keep walking. So if you haven't done this before, it's like quite a long journey. You go along the train tracks in the tunnel, you come out here, you go in the open, then you come through these caves. And then after these caves, you continue along the track even longer. And then you get to another transition region, which I think is just called uh, Transfer Pass, I think it's called. But we just colloquially refer to it as the hub. It's up there, it's the way out. The hub is uh, the connector uh, region. To For now, this was taken airfield, but later it will also be to the other regions in the far range. Okay, we got a flare, got some wood. So I might actually pick up for now. We'll see if we use it though. We came out over there. That a bit. Oh, there's like a viewpoint. And there's the other side of that wall. Yeah. There's a few little things to loot in, in, in here. Not a lot. How heavy am I actually? Quite heavy. I got sprains, yeah. Uh, I might spend the night in here actually, because there is a cave outside. Uh, so I want to exit this cave. We reach another cave uh, further up the road where there's a wolf, but I think I'll stay here actually to recover a little bit of health. I don't think it really matters what we do in terms of um, uh, if we get cabin fever, for example, that's where we just were. Uh, because I'm going to be outdoors anyway. So let's actually spend the night there. Eat some calories, recover some health. Remove the sprains. Get situated. We got some coal, which is great. We're gonna take that with us. I think up here is the exit. No, it's even further. It's a long, it's a long way to get there. A long, long, long way. That's for sure. We don't actually need all this wood. But we'll carry it for the moment. I'll drop it outside the cave or something. Or in the cave that's up there. Okay, I think we'll spend the night here. Now let me just quickly see. Uh, yeah, okay. What got damaged? Mm. I think this took a bit of damage, didn't it? This we can just harvest, I think. I'm never gonna wear it. Let's just harvest that now. Get some cloth. This is so strong. How do you repair this, actually? Oh, you can't repair it. You just harvest it. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Got some. I think I could repair this, I guess. It's point three degrees. Let's just do it. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit better. Okay. We're gonna leave some of this stuff outside, but not right now. So let's do, let's just pass some time. A bit of water first. I would like to sleep 10 hours or at least until it's light. We're gonna just pass some time here until I'm more tired. Alternatively, you can just run around, burn some, like this. Oh, I can't actually run. <laughs> I would like to heal a bit, so let's have some more water. Let's just pass some time. Doesn't matter if you sleep a bit into the day. Uh, let's sleep. Let's, we can take a little bit of dehydration damage, that's fine. Save the water. This is fine. 
Okay, so let's eat this. And that. And then we have a drink. And then we're going to sleep. We'll put 10, but we're not going to sleep 10. It'll be like 8 or uh, 7 or 8. There we are. Yeah, so we got cabin fever risk, but that doesn't really matter. <clears throat> yeah, even with the wood, we're actually not heavy after this. But now we are. Are we going to drop some uh, food here? We're going to be outside quite a bit, so I'm not too worried about this. Let's map this. Now we're on this side here. We've gone through a cave over here. Came out this way. Let's go back inside though. There's the wall map. Uh, the cold is making my head feel thick. There you And then back out. And there should be one wolf around here too. So we have to be a bit careful about that. Over here, we're now on the other side of the tracks. It's actually very easy to get to the Forsaken Airfield or the Far Range because you just follow the tracks, right? That's basically what it is. But here's, here's the Far Range branch line, so to speak. So when you go back, you just climb this thing up here. And uh, then you come on the other side. And one day I'll figure out how to go go up there. I bet you someone like Archimedes or some someone has uh, figured that out already. I just heard it can be done, but I never tried it. Okay, so now we're going to follow these train tracks, and we're going to get eventually to some more train carts when there's a cave and a wolf. I'm going to keep mapping wherever I can. We got some wood. Uh, I'm going to drop the coal when I get to the cave. Leave that there for future supplies. Might map again here. Yeah, we're getting cold, but it's okay. It's a long journey. It's a long, long journey. I can't feel my feet. There we are. There's a bridge. I don't think you can go down this river and explore it. I don't think so. Just a scenery thing. Yeah, it doesn't look like you want to go down in if you could. Because <laughs> you got a river flowing. Steely chasm. So here is the other part. I'm gonna head into the cave first though. It's actually sunny, so I might take the opportunity and make some water. And uh, we might actually hunt some rabbits too. But if it's sunny. I might as well cook them. Oops. And that will be something. There you go. You don't need them really, but it's just a little bit of food and a little bit of supplies that I can take back. Let's get my arrow that I missed over here somewhere. That's the wolf. There should be a wolf here. Let's just see if he's around, because if he is, I can get him to come to the cave here. He seems to be further away than I anticipated, so we'll leave him for now. So let's make a fire here. In this cave. I'll do it on the outside, I think. Like. Yeah. 
Jesus God, you're freezing. Yeah. Let's make a fire with the maglens. Let's make some water. Let's uh, cook the rabbits. Get a little bit more supplies going. Now, fires actually last more outdoors. There's a little bit of a common misconception about how that works. That the fire itself has to be outdoors. But it's actually the way it works when the community tested it a little while back. Perfect. And what matters is actually where the player is. Whether the player is standing outdoors or not. So now I'm standing indoors. This is outdoors. So it's determined by player location, not fire location. You could technically put a fire indoors and then go out and do something and it will still be uh, burning as if it's outside. I haven't actually tested that myself though, so don't take my word for it, but that is what the testers in the community found out. That people like big fish and I think uh, acidic virus, I think it was. And I trust those people. And let's put the skillet there too. this let's harvest this I wonder if I can drop any of this gear there are more of those I don't think so we can prepare these though can maybe make Uh, another pie, like a rabbit pie or something. I have enough flour for that. Okay, looks good. Let's make water. No, let's cook this stuff. Ten minutes. Let's put this on. And I'm going to stand outside here and I'm going to drop that. Okay. Seven minutes. Just eat that. Uh, can I make a pie? Rabbit pie. What am I missing? Water. Oh, I need more flour. Hmm. Okay, I don't have enough flour. I left the big pack back there. What can I make then? Actually, not enough to make anything with the flour that I brought. Maple syrup, I could have made that, yeah. <laughs> I'll make acorn pancakes. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Okay, in that case, we're just gonna cook the rabbits. How easy is that? I don't think we'll stay here for the night or anything, but let's see. That's cooked. Eat that. I don't think I can place this like this, can I? No, I didn't think so. That's spoiled. Let's prepare the acorns. Grab this. Feels in cabin fever. More acorns to prepare. Get the rabbit hides too. Maybe take them with, we'll see. But I think probably not. There we are. A bit more food. I'm gonna make some more water here as well, and then after we'll probably just go. Seven minutes. I think for that we'll just do this. Okay, let's make one coffee. I like to have that handy. 
And let's also make one herbal tea. Possibly two, because I think I want to recover some of it. We'll see. Okay. I used all my water. <laughs> let's just make some more water. And now we will do this. I guess we could stay here for the night, I suppose. Let's see. Let's just put this over here. Let's map this out. It's actually getting kind of leaked, yeah. And I think we're getting close to I'm not sure if we need to. Well dry. <clears throat> okay. I mean, keep going. To be honest, uh, should I leave this here? Yeah, I think probably leave this here. I guess saves me having to attract wolves as I walk around. They're not really that bad condition or anything. Let's just put a note. Okay, I did. I did this. I did. All of this. And then here, let's just put here. X to rabbit. Those two guts in, uh, I call it branch line cave. I'm not sure exactly what the name was of this cave, if there was one. Cave. We'll leave that here. And think that's it. I can craft some firehound arrows. Let's make half a liter in that case. How long does it take? Mm. I'm gonna make one liter. One liter and one liter and craft that. There we go. Then we're going to take that stuff. We'll probably eat a pie. And I think we're good. Yeah, we are good now. Let's take this, take that. Buy a lot of water, take all of this stuff. That's all right, we're going to eat. Going to eat one of these pies, and we'll also um, we'll just eat this. Have a drink, and uh, we could always drop a couple of sticks. Oh, yeah, now we're no longer heavy. Thank you, pie. Mmm, pie. Remnant cave. Okay. Now let's check over here. Uh, is there any loot here? Could map this a bit better also. Not particularly cold. Ah, here we are. Nothing in here. Okay. Shame. Let's just uh, think this torch will last, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Oh, mega torch, we'll use that. Yeah, I wanted to map that out a bit better. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. <clears throat> there is a wolf up here, but we gotta be a bit careful about that. It is kind of nice that it's so far to travel. It makes it special that when you get there, it's like, wow, it's worth it, you know? 
Uh, I do like that. But you have to get the radio, and like when you get the radio, it unlocks so much in the rest of the the world. But you have to make this massive journey first, you know. Where's this wolf? Is it not here? That's a rabbit. I think we'll map here too. I'm gonna map as much as I can, really. Didn't map that because it was indoors, kind of. Sorry if there's a background noise, but uh, my computer started making lots of noise suddenly. Okay. Freight Hopper's Rockfall. Anything here to be found? Doesn't seem like it. These are the trains from the from the trailer. <laughs> now we're nearing the end. Back indoors we go. Should have maybe heated up some teas to bring with me. Because we're going quite far. I think we'll stay the night in the next cave. Something can I map this? I'm suspicion that you can't. Oh, okay, you can. <clears throat> Let's make a quick little fire here then, in that case. Wow, you can use the maglens in here, that's funny. I just want to map this and also heat up some teas. So I can travel a bit further. <clears throat> Come on, little fire. Come on, little fire. And then just, just chuck this. Put one coal on here. And just put some teas down. A Tommy Tea Circle. Reset them so they don't burn. We have enough water. I'm actually gonna make... I don't like that you can't select the skillet. <laughs> Uh, acorn grounds, let's make those. Could maybe keep one, but I can make more of them, that's fine. Okay, and then I want to map here. Cannot map indoors. Oh, but I can make a fire indoors, apparently. That's fine. It is what it is. I like this cup. I hope to sell this cup. Okay, anything else to make? I don't think so. Nah, grab some torches though. I don't have that many. Let's grab a bunch because we're traveling quite far. Ah, some good ones there. Nice. And some bad ones, but that's okay. Let's drink this now. Heat up a bit. There we go. And let's keep going. Birch tears is so great. It heals you a tiny bit. Not like a ton, but it's a tiny bit. And it keeps you warm as well, and they're very easy to make. Maybe they've hidden stuff here behind these columns, and I missed it. We'll have a closer look on the way back, though. Alright, we are near this end now. Does this count as indoors or outdoors? Probably still indoors. Let's do the same thing. Let's uh, light a good torch. Let's just see what happens. No, it's indoors. Okay. And this region kind of needs a Polaroid, I think.
bit heavy. It's because of all the coal. Yeah, it's a long journey. <laughs> this is a long, long walk. Still going. You could do it in one go. As long as you stay warm. Like, you could just go. You could just run and walk through, walk through the Indo areas, run through the rest, right? So you could just walk through areas like this and the tunnels and whatnot. And then you uh, run in the open and you can definitely do it in one go. Don't see anything here. I bet you I missed something though. Shout out if I miss something. It's very, very dark in here. Barely see anything. Okay, we're coming out to the exit. I think I want to use the bad torches first. Okay, we got some daylight. And here we are. Nice. All right. We made it to transfer pass. This is also just called the hub. There you go. It's called uh, the hub colloquially. The developers even called it when they first announced it. This is the connector region. It's kind of like Mystery Lake. Like Mystery Lake connects to like a bunch of regions, like four regions. This is the same. As of this video, only Forsaken Airfield has been released. But uh, in the future, they're also releasing Mountain Pass and Industrial Mine. Those are placeholder names and might change. And there are some roads here that lead to those areas that are blocked. I'll show you that. And uh, eventually they will be accessible through here. So this is like the hub that connects to all the regions and back. So here is the same. It's three plus one. So it's four, four places that it connects to. Nice little music. Some woods. There's some acorns and stuff around here to be found. Over there and here. And there's a cave. There's, there's a train station. That can have some loot in it. But you can't sleep there. I mean, you can sleep there. But it's, it doesn't count as a good like indoor location. Um, it doesn't give much warmth bonus. It's better to sleep in the cave up here, in, in my opinion. On lower difficulties, maybe you can sleep there. It's getting dark, so I think we can probably spend the night in this cave. How's my cabin fever? Yeah, it's gone. Happening. Getting cold, might recover some health. Uh, more acorns, lots and lots of acorns in this region. I'll grab those a bit later. Let me go to the cave. Let's use the bad torches first. I don't know if I need to make a fire, if I'm honest, because I don't really need anything right now. But I don't have that much food, I guess. Could uh, hunt some rabbits, but I think we'll be okay. I might, might not even, I might just continue in the night a little bit. In which case I might want to keep the fire. To sleep for like an hour or two. What have we got in here then? Feed water cave. Alright, a drink. Oh, how cute. Left some roll sips for us and a raishi mushroom. Drop any of this gear. There we go. Unburden is expired. How much wood do I have? Decent amount. I might make a fire here. And sleep like two hours. And then go check uh, the area in the night and then come back and sleep here. Might do that. We can sleep like an hour at a time though. And we can just make water and just leave it here if we need to. Let's make water. Uh. 
sleep one hour at a time. Maybe you can sleep one hour rather than two, actually. Scary. Two seconds. Okay. There we are. That's actually not... Not sure I can carry much more. ...boiled yet. Uh, well, we can just leave that. Like that. We'll come back to this cave, probably. We can grab the acorns and things first. I have ammo exactly. A little bit heavy. A load of acorns. There's some rabbits as well. Could hunt the rabbits, I suppose. But I think I'd rather not. Prefer getting a deer or something. Let's grab the acorns. There's a map, but nothing I did. No, we'll do that uh, later. One acorn there. Acorns there, yeah. We keep some of them for like fishing lures and stuff. So many, so many oak trees. It's crazy. I'm gonna grab all of this. A lot of acorns to process. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. There's even more of them over here. Gosh. I guess I don't really need to grab all of them actually, now that I think about it. They need to harvest all of them. We could leave some for future use, I suppose. Maybe I should do that. Grab these ones. Grab basically the, the north side, or I guess it would be the west side. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we'll take these ones. I think we can map because it's a clear, clear sky. Let's go back to the fire. Okay, yeah, I might leave the other ones. There's so many of them and we can just grab them later. I guess I'll need more icons right now. They're mostly used for the recipes and also the fishing. For a second, they sound like a wolf. I think it was just a tree noise. Um, they are great for the coffee, which is fantastic for interloper. It's such a game changer for interloper, although the pie that restores uh, fatigue is much stronger than acorns. So I think the primary use of the acorns is actually going to be like pies and fishing laws. Uh, but it is all, all travel snacks. But it is nice you can make it into a little coffee as well. All right. Back here we are. That's done. Yep. Yeah. Take charcoal. Uh, I would like to map this, so let's... Actually, an even easier thing to do is this. Oh, I don't have sticks, right. I'll undo this. Ah, okay. It doesn't. You can't map. Okay. Good to know. Let's go uh, around a little bit, get some sticks. In fact, we'll drop some stuff here because we'll come back and sleep. I'm not going to sleep in the train station. So we can actually drop a few things, some heavy stuff. Like bedroll, hatchet. Uh, we might use a lantern, maybe. Ooh. Close. Let's drop some heavy things. Uh, forgot I had two of those. Mm. Yeah, just so I can move it better. <clears throat> uh, 
Then we'll let this fire die out. Around a little bit here. Uh, if there is a deer, it would be good to have a little bit of supplies here. My fingers feel numb. The rabbits I can ignore for now. In the trailer for this region, there were actually uh, wolves around, but they aren't there. There are so many, so I'm going to leave a few. So I'm leaving one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight trees. So many acorns is insane. Damn. I'm freezing. Ah, it blew out. Okay, well. I'm not sure it's, it's worth really going around exploring in that case. It's too cold. Yeah, and I can't map either. Tell you what. Change the plan, we'll go back to the base then. We'll just spend the night there. Fire blew out, it's too cold. I can't map. Let's just wait until morning. And I'd rather stay in here because it's warmer. This is pretty much the only safe place to sleep. In the transfer station, it's a bit risky. There is a fireplace there though you can use. Okay. Let's harvest these with sticks. sleeper for a little while. Let's have a look at my skills actually. How are we doing with skills? Like like almost four. Archery's getting there to five. Mending still got a while. And yeah, these two. <laughs> Fishing is level two. Okay. Grab all of this stuff. Might leave some stuff in transfer pass. Uh, we can prepare something maybe. But I don't really want to prepare the acorns. Because I might use them for something. Now that I know how that works. This is pretty strong. <laughs> I need flour. Okay, I think I'm just gonna sleep. Let's pass a little bit of time. So I can sleep long. I would like to sleep 10 hours this time if I can. I don't have that much food is the only thing. Uh, I think this is actually, now nah, we have a load of water. So let's just drink. I have, wish I had a bit more food on me, but it's okay. Okay, now we're going to sleep. Let's eat something. Let's eat, uh, I'll eat this, of course. Might eat the crackers. I think it might be time to eat those. Do these give a hundred? Have a sip of broth. They do weigh a lot. Have a sip of broth. And let's... I think there are cattails here, but we'll we'll eat the, we'll eat the crackers. Let's make two of these because broth is just um, it's just ptarmigan and water and some salt, and that's it. It's quite easy to make. I have another broth then. And drink. We also have that. And asleep. I think we'll sleep nine hours probably. Okay, there we are. <clears throat> Let's map. There we go. Better. Have a drink. There we are. How heavy am I? Oh, a little bit, a little bit heavy. It's mostly the the water weighing me down. 
I have two pry bars. I'm going to leave a couple of things at the transfer station. So in this transfer region, there isn't too much to explore. You probably can sustain yourself here for a bit because there are rabbits. There's these two rabbits. I think there's a deer around as well. A load of acorns, some plants. I think there's some cattails. So there are some resources here. But other than that, there isn't that much to explore here per se. There's the cave I was at now. Of course, all the acorn trees and whatnot. And there is uh, the transfer station. And then in addition to that, there's a car and some little mine shafts and smaller things to loot. The transfer station actually doesn't have that much loot. Um, a ptarmigans? No, it's just nice. On, on lower difficulties, it can, but on higher difficulties, it doesn't tend to have much in it. I can swear this sounds like ptarmigans. Maybe it's just the ice. Ah, it is ptarmigans. I want them for the meat. Yeah, okay, a little bit under them. There you go. Oh, you're flying away. <sighs> that would have been something. Guess I got spotted. Very good to know. Got one time again. Can use it to make something once I have more ingredients. Where did my arrow go? There it is. Let's see. The ptarmigans there too, that's good to know. Okay, there are cattails there which I'm going to pick up. Because I don't have that much food. But this region is basically like the ravine, so there's only really... There's only really two areas in the game that are completely safe from wolves, at least as of this video. <clears throat> they might change in the future because they are changing the wildlife spawns at some point. So they might change it. But at the moment, the, this region is completely safe. You do not have any predators in this region. And the other one is the ravine. The ravine also is completely safe. No predators there. Just rabbits and deer. There's also a third region that's usually safe, but no always, which is Keeper's Pass North, which is transition zone to Blackrock. Keeper's Path South has a few wolves in it, but the North Path, which is pretty much just a long stretch to walk in, is the same stretch that you see in episode four. Uh, that one is usually safe. You don't. I've never seen a wolf there, but people have told me that now there there is a wolf that can spawn there. Uh, but so you're not completely safe. But yeah, this place in the ravine for now is definitely a little haven. In the ravine, you have like two caves, three I guess, three caves you can sleep in to warm up. Yeah, there's only one. Uh, let's grab all the these cattails here. I want to use them for food. I use ptarmigans to make broth or something. <clears throat> Alright, here we are. Here's the, the transfer station. Where we can find some minor loot. If there's a deer, I will probably kill the deer. Map this. A bit cold, but it's alright. There we are. Vacant Depot is the technical name for it. Not train station. Now I have to go around over on the other side here. Uh, there isn't anything here. You can break down these barrels. I haven't really checked to see if there's anything in them, and I'm not going to do that right now. But in principle, you could. 
I'm gonna go through these trucks to check out. The ice is creepy. Okay, I got the next truck. I'd like to see if this batteries in case I decide to do smithing one day. Nothing there, I don't see anything there either. I often don't spend much time as I've actually been to Forsaken Airfield many times. I've been on four runs there, but this is only the second or third time that I've actually walked here and looted this area. Normally I just spawn in Forsaken Airfield itself and then survive. That region itself is, is great. This region doesn't have that much to offer, but it's a small little haven. You definitely can survive. Let's see, are we warm in here? We are, nice. You could, you could actually sleep in here, actually. It seems like it is warm enough, yeah. Okay. Hmm. When I was there last, I remember it was uh, much colder than this. Maybe it was just too early game. Oh, okay, so you could sleep here then. Nice. There's always new details to figure out. So people often say uh, I, that I might... I know everything about this game. Yeah, I do know most things, but there's always a little detail that you don't know. Or something small you think you know, but then it turns out it doesn't work that way. There's always something to figure out. They changed how this baseball cap looked. Looks. For one thing, now it's ragged, but now when it's on the floor, it looks like this. Remember how it used to look? It used to look like kind of like like flat, kind of like this. <laughs> this is cloth at this point, though. Uh, scrap metal, we don't need that. Toilet, do we need the water? No, we can leave that. Anything in here? Matches? <laughs> no. Nothing here. Okay. Oh, I never really looked at this that close, but I don't think there's much to see. Really. Okay. Uh, one ticket to the uh, tray. Uh, for taking airfield, please. <laughs> okay, let's just sleep like an hour here, just to warm up, and then we'll loot what's outside. There's a um, little coal chute, and in the coal chute you can find a couple of smaller things, but primarily it's here, up there. Uh, you can go up this chute, and up there you can find some smaller stuff. You might find dog food, uh, some crackers. In the interloper, you usually find nothing. You might find something small. But there is a chance to find, very rarely, a bearskin bedroll up there. So you should always check this if you come here, especially if you spawn here. Uh, supposedly, it can spawn an interloper, but it's extremely rare. I think I've seen it maybe once. And on lower difficulties, on stock and below, it's a little bit more frequent, but still a rare spawn. As far as I understand that. So that's uh, something to keep in mind. <laughs> Got some wood here. I wouldn't mind finding a deer of some sort. Scrap metal and we get coal. We want all of this. And... Let's go up the chute. I'll come back and stay here for the night. Heal some more. And then it will take an airfield time. Can I go up this way? I think you can. There we are. And some more cattails over there. Another car here. There's another one after roll too. No battery. Anything here? Nope. Run ahead. Uh, 
All right. Let's map this. Yeah. Often also, uh, you'll find here in this, like, stuff on the ground, there's often a flare laying there. Not today, though. So we're going to go in here. Because in a real survival run, of course, you're going to throw yourself down here. <laughs> you can get back out this way. And then you go up to shoot. And up here, <clears throat> it's pretty much round. We might find a torch, some crackers, and if you're extremely lucky, you'll find a bear skin bedroll. Which we don't need anymore, but... Seems like we have... None of that. Yeah, we have nothing. No. No loot for us. There's a chute on the way down we can't really use. And over here there's also nothing. Okay. Uh, I don't think I want to jump down there. Thanks. I'll go this way. Okay, there's a couple places more to check out the map and whatnot, but I'm just gonna drop some stuff over here. I'm not lumping this around all heavy. So let's just drop a few heavy things in the depot and go from there. Just so we can move about a bit faster. And I will possibly kill some rabbits. We'll see. No, Astrid, you can't eat trees. I mean, you can. But you shouldn't. No more trains. Fine. Okay, I'm gonna drop a few things here. So, start by dropping the water. Drop the town again. And that. And that. Drop the lantern. Drop these. Drop that. Yeah, I guess about it, yeah. We should be fine with that. Let's eat something though. Let's eat... Uh, I don't really want to eat these, to be honest. I don't get that much calories anyway. Uh, I will have some of these though. I'll eat the ptarmigan too. And we'll have the, <coughs> the summer soda. I'll go and map a little bit more. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen like a doe walking around here. So if there is one, I will kill it. If not, we'll just spend the night here and head in Forsaken Airfield and do some hunting there. One more. Oops. Okay, well, I'd like to have 12. That's okay. Okay. Now a bit lighter. I think I vaguely can hear the ptarmigans over here. Let's go check that out. How are we doing map-wise? There's all sorts of places over here where it looks like you can walk through and there's like a basin. There's ptarmigans, I can hear them. There they are. Let's see if I can hit them from here for the fun of it. Let's practice. Ooh. Oh, the bow broke. <laughs> that wasn't worth it then. <laughs> Just for that. Grab these two. I forgot about the bow condition. That wasn't wasn't worth it. <laughs> we have the other bow though. At least now we can dump one of them. Okay. 
We got some meat though. Definitely harder to hunt than rabbits because of how they fly away like that. Is it too foggy to map? Yeah, it is, yeah. <clears throat> In that case, we can continue along the road instead. Can't map anyway. See if we can find a deer or something. Really do. Don't think there's anything over here. No. So if you keep, uh, there's clearly entrances to other regions. If you keep following the tracks and the roads, they all lead somewhere. But the roads are blocked. These ones lead to I think collapsed tunnel. I think. Yeah, yeah, like a collapsed tunnel, so you can't get through. And then up there is a collapsed road. So I'm assuming that when the next area opens up, then one of these become traversable. Right? Yeah. Immutable hesitation. <laughs> That's a cool name. There's the same. The road's blocked. Presumably this will open up when the area is added. I'm guessing that's what's going on here. Okay, we got some ptarmigans, which is good, but I would have liked to have had a deer or something. I'm gonna use, I, you know, I forgot about the bow condition. I'm like, yeah, let's practice and do some target practice and I broke the bow. Oops, that's right, I can make a new one. Want to utilize this, the bow to its maximum. Uh, potential. So this is hard to tell the difference between wood creaking and ice and ptarmigans. <laughs> yeah, this is the road to Forsaken Airfield. And there's a path over there that splits. Actually, no, down there is the road to the second airfield. This is the road to what is presumably mountain pass, I think. Because it goes up, up, up. And then you get to a, another roadblock. So if I had to guess, this will lead to mountain pass. But that would make sense. Yeah, okay, they're down there, the ptarmigans. I might grab them after. Yeah, up here is the mountain pass transition. Should be another blocked road here. This is a guess, of course, but... Now, I wonder if there'll be a cougar here waiting to jump you. Wouldn't that be scary? The cougar has been in talks for years. They actually mentioned it way back. Oh, the rabbit. I think I'm gonna hunt that. Oh, I didn't pick up the stone. Whoops. Wow. It didn't die because the arrow broke. Wow. So here. You can't get through here. Hmm. Oh, the rabbit survived. Isn't that something? Now with normal arrows, it doesn't matter. I really don't want to use my bow to hunt these things because it takes 1% condition, but I kind of want a little bit more food. Cougar Plateau. <laughs> I forgot my stone, so... Ow, I didn't expect that. I'm not gonna use it on this rabbit, actually. I'm gonna use it on the ptarmigans instead. Ah. 
There we are. What? They hit him. When in doubt, throw it at their face. I might hunt Tom again though. Where are they? You can hear them. Can't see them over here, I think. A lot of ptarmigans in this region. Oh, some of them are the same ones though, that's flying about. I think they one shot, I think. I want to do the other ones with the stone. Ah, oh, they spotted me, I guess. Yeah, the rest of them I'm going to use for defense. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I think we got enough of those. I'm going to spend uh, a match to cook all of these. And the other road, we least it was take an airfield. Then I couldn't really map as I was doing this. Would have liked to have had the deer here so I can get a bit more food that I can travel with, but it is what it is. Let's pick up our stuff, harvest some things, cook some things, and then we are done in this region. <clears throat> it's a nice little mini haven. Let's out here, leave our boat, pick all this stuff up. Probably will leave a pry by here though. And let's just start harvesting this stuff. Five ptarmigans, that's fine. We don't really need the feathers anymore though. I'm not sure I can be bothered to harvest those. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Uh, I'll see. I don't really need them actually. Uh, because I already have the insulation. And they're not that hard to find. If I find a bedroll, I could always just get some more of them. But I think we're going to leave the feather. They take forever to, to pick up, and we don't really need them. Like, not really. Uh, well, at least the rabbit stuff can be used for repairs. Yeah, so I think we will leave the, uh, the feathers. And then the rabbit, though, will take everything. We could start a fire and then harvest this, but eh, we're not in a hurry. In the early game, I do a lot of multitasking. Like I harvest something while I cook something. But at this stage in the game, I don't really do that. Okay, let's start a fire. I'm gonna, there it is, yeah. Eat a tree. You need a tree, Astrid, are you? Okay, we need some match for that. Because we're not in a hurry, you know, when you're in for the long run, if you got time, yeah, just use it, you know. But in the early game, when you have less resources, then I very oh. often start a fire, cook something, do something while it's cooking. And now I do that sometimes, but not always. It depends what I'm doing. Perfect. Okay, nice. Let's drop the ptarmigan out here as well. Don't weigh much anymore, but we don't really need them. And close the door. Let's drop this to cure. And then can I actually make something? Uh, 
Not really, because I'm missing things. Acorn ground, yeah, I can make that, I guess. I could have made that, but... Missing maple syrup and that. Pie. Here, yeah, I'm missing flowers. I can't really make any pies. Not really. We'll just make these. How much water do we have? We have enough. But we can still make two liters. And let's put on some wood. And let's just eat that. I think we need the skillet actually. Save the clicking. Do that. And eat it. We're just gonna cook it, eat it, and that's it. Especially these small ones, I might keep the larger ones. Let's also eat some cattails. So I have 12 left. Let's see how many is that. Hey, one more. Keep that for now. Cook and eat the small ones. I think that's enough. Oh, noisy. He's getting too heavy to carry. Is that it. And that's it. Anything I need to cook? I can make broth. <clears throat> Maybe make a broth, actually. Um, a kilo of ptarmigan roll. Pretty sure I can get more than that. So this is 500. You know, this is, gives me more calories. The broth, I don't really need to make the broth. Sure, it's hot, but really need it not really so i think i will instead just make this yeah i think that's it grab it grab a torch Okay, let's eat the smaller ones, uh, food-wise we're looking alright, let's eat this one. And let's have some water. And we're carrying way too much stuff. Walk with this much gear. Yeah. We're going to sleep here. And I'm gonna douse this now. <clears throat> Worth the match. Let's harvest some of these. I'm gonna set everything up. And then we need to organize inventory a bit before we leave. Let's just do. Yeah, let's put here, uh, let's see. Leave some stuff in depot and head to <coughs> FA. I think that's about it. We'll organize the inventory later when we wake up. Yeah, we got some food and everything. We spent just a match. We got so many matches anyway, so we're doing fine. Nice, okay. All right, let's uh, sleep here. Actually, let's wait like a little bit and I can drink a herbal tea. Oh, blizzard outside. <clears throat> yeah, we are actually warm enough here, so I forget what I said earlier. You can definitely sleep here. 
I thought it was just a cave, but I must have been unlucky when I was there before. Sleep for 10 hours. Let's gain some health back. Yeah. Okay. All right, fellow survivors. I think I'm going to leave you here. That was the branch line on the way to Forsaken Airfield. And as you can see, it's a long journey. I took a bit longer than usual because I was exploring the area a little bit too. Normally I just come here, check out this depot quickly and then I go. But um, the first part is very long and there's some wolves in the way, but it's all right. But then this part here is like a little, a little sanctuary, you know, a lot of acorns, some plants, load of ptarmigans. I mean, I killed five and I missed more and I don't think they actually were the same flock. Well, at least it didn't look like it. Load of ptarmigans and rabbits. I'm pretty sure I've seen a deer around here, but um, not this that today though. But we're doing all right. We got, because we cooked that, uh, those, uh, Small game, we have food now and water, so we are fine. So next time, we're going to Forsaken Airfield and getting that radio, I think. Because this, that's definitely the point of that region. And then we're going to explore it because it's a huge region. All right. Thank you, survivors. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.